What's up, YouTube? Pepe coming to you, Captain Awesome's Fish Room. Jeff Acroma's Bro by bringing y'all a really cool video today. Uh, it's not necessarily about Halloween. My milk snake here, which is awesome. Check this guy out, man. Oh, man, look at this guy. Wowzers. Anyways, uh, really excited because I got something done today that had needed to be done for I don't know how long, guys, and super excited that I did get it done because it's another way for me to interact with y'all on another level and, you know, just, just take this channel to the next level and have even more fun and interact with y'all, my subscribers. So, really, truly excited about it. Uh, you know, I, I, I mean, I don't even know how to put it in words. I am just elated, to be honest. I'm elated that I have the means and the accessibility to do something like this. But, uh, without further ado, I got the P.O. Box, okay? All the information that you need if you want to send something to me at my P.O. Box will be down inside the description, okay? So... All you got to do is go down there. It'll be the first thing in the description, so you don't have to flip through everything to look for it. Uh, it'll be right there as soon as you like click on the little arrow for the description to you know drop down. Uh, it'll be right there, you know, so you don't have to hunt it or anything like that. And if y'all want to send me something, send it to the PO box, and I'm gonna make it a series type thing. So if you send me something. Uh, well, let me do it this way, okay? Uh, every week on Friday, I'm going to go check the P.O. Box. We'll do a little drive down there, and then, you know, I'll make a video of me driving to the P.O. Box and actually taking stuff out of the P.O. Box, and then it'll go to the fish room. The video will go to the fish room, and I'll open it, and I'll read letters on camera. If you want to send me a letter that you don't read, want read on camera, just write, do not read on camera, or whatever. Uh, and we'll make a whole little series about it, so everybody can see. Look, Big Rig's even excited. I just got soaked. But, uh, God, man, what's your deal? Anyways, he's excited. I'm excited. Everybody's excited. I hope y'all are excited. Uh, but like I said, it's going to be once a week on Friday. I'll do a video of me driving down there and getting the stuff out of the P.O. box, and then we'll come back to the fish room. Uh, I'll do kind of like an opening. I'll read letters and, you know, send out thank yous and stuff like that. So I'm really excited about it, guys. It's, I mean, this is a really cool deal. I've been wanting to do this for a while. As, you know, most of y'all know, most of y'all that have been subscribers of mine for uh, at least a few months or older. Uh, of course, if you're new... Uh, I've been thinking about setting up a P.O. Box now for a couple months. I announced it on a video. I just never got around to it, but I got around to it today, and it, it, it's a pretty cool feeling. Uh, it, it's exciting, and I can't wait to see what y'all send me. Uh, so without further ado, guys, let's go check out some fish and make this video even more entertaining. So we can't ever have a video without Cletus, the Pahaka Pupper. Uh, and some of y'all said that he is getting bigger more than width-wise. And, I mean, I don't know. I, I see him every day, so I, I really don't know. But uh, I'll take y'all's words for it, you know. I mean, y'all see him maybe once a week. Uh, as soon as I get back inside the regular habit of making videos. There's that calico bushy nose I have in there, if I can get this camera to focus. Check that guy out. He's looking awesome. Uh, I have a few more of the calicos. Uh, I really want to breed those guys. I want to breed one of my super reds into one of the calicos and see what I can come up with out of that. 
but yeah, here's Cletus the Bahaka Puffer. He's doing great. Let me get it to focus. And there you go. Uh, he's really enjoying this new tank. Uh, he moves around a lot more and, you know, he really, really hunts these snails. They used to hang out on that filter and everything and not so much anymore. I mean, he's he's pretty well hunted down most of the snails in there. I'm glad that Malaysian trumpet snails breed so readily, but uh, let's go on to another fish. Alright, so here's a tank that's been pretty drab lately. Uh, I don't have any fish in here except for the bushy nose plecos. You can see one of the chocolates right there. But uh, as most of y'all know, if you uh, got the hints that I laid down inside the very last video that I did, uh, you know that I have some fish coming. Uh, I'll leave that a surprise if you want to get a you know somewhat of a hint as to what they are. Uh, go watch my last video and see and see if you can pick up on any of the hints. And that's what will be going inside of this tank. This Saturday is when they're supposed to be here. So really excited about that. I'll, of course, I'll do a, an opening and, you know, a whole little video of what I got and stuff like that. A lot of y'all may not already know what it is. I've been talking about getting them for, you know, a few months now. So really exciting stuff. Uh, all the plants in here are just doing awesome. Of course, I don't have a big light in here, so the... The, the Polysperma Sunset isn't as colorful it is, as it is over in the 50 Long Subscriber Planted Tank. But hey, what can you do? At least they're growing, right? Uh, so let's go on to another fish, and then we'll start wrapping this video up. I don't want to make it too long, take too much of y'all's time. So here we go. And then there was this guy. Uh, his attitude. Man, guys, Besides Big Rig, I have to say that this guy's attitude, actually, I take that back. This guy's attitude and just personality is the best attitude and personality I've ever had inside of a cichlid. And I've been keeping fish for, you know, quite some time now, over a decade at least. But, uh, I mean, this guy is just a trip and something else. And it seems that, <clears throat> excuse me. It seems that all of you love this guy too. This is Caesar, my Amphilophus Hoga Boomerum, or Hoga for short. Uh, he's doing excellent. He's uh, he's over 10 inches. I don't know if he's past a foot yet. I really doubt it. He might be 10 to 11. He's somewhere in between 10 and 11, I'm sure. But uh, you can see this guy's teeth. I mean, he just has... I mean, look at his mug. Look at that guy. He is awesome, isn't he, guys? And I have to say, the Amphilophus complex is one of the most diverse, for one, one of the most diverse and one of the most personable cichlids out there. If you're new to keeping cichlids and you want a cichlid that's really personable and just has great personality, great character, and an awesome attitude to boot, go out and get you an Amphilophus. I mean, you can get a Labiatus, uh, you can get a Citronella, a Hoga Boomerum, a Chancho, Trimac. I mean, guys, there is all kinds out there. The Arrows. Uh, I mean, there's all kinds of Amphilophus out there. They're they're a great complex of cichlids. Uh, you know, they're they're just really fun to keep. Some of them do get pretty big. Uh, your Chanchos are a really big one, uh, but really cool. I mean, they're just really cool fish, guys. Really, really awesome fish, and you can tell. Uh, I mean, they don't have the brightest colors on earth, but I tell you one thing. I mean, you cannot look at this fish and say that he is not just gorgeous, drop dead gorgeous. All right, I mean, he has maroons and uh, chocolate cherry, I think one of my subscribers called it. Uh, reds and yellows and oranges up on the gill plate. Look at that guy, man. Look at that hoga. Man, what a gorgeous fish. And that's Caesar, once again, so. Uh, let's move on. All right, and we'll wrap it up with Odin here, one of my, just one of my pride and joys inside of the fish room, guys. This is an Amphilophus trimaculatum, or trimaculatus, uh, depending on, you know, how you say it, tomato, tomato, whatever. Uh, but trimac for short, and his name is Odin. He's a male trimac, and I have to say that he is just my favorite right now, even over Big Rig, I have to say it. I have to say that he is just my favorite right now. His personality, his character, his attitude. Uh, he doesn't bite or glass bang or anything, guys, but he does come up and let me pet him and stuff like that. 
Uh, just a really awesome fish. He gets really excited when you do water changes and when you go inside of his tank and stuff like that. You can see he's getting a little, a little rambunctious about the camera. You can see him shaking his head there. Uh, but just another, another awesome species that comes from an Amphilopus uh, complex. And, you know, just a really fun fish to, to keep, guys. And then, of course, I have the, the alligator or rhino plecos in here along with my Adonis. I had a question about the aggressiveness of Adonis plecos. And, guys, I wouldn't say it's an aggressive nature more than it's a territorial type nature. Uh, I haven't noticed uh, any, any more outward aggression than any other fish that gets inside of another fish's space. Uh, but I mean, they are a little more territorial, but outwardly aggressive. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say they're outwardly aggressive. Of course, you know, every fish has its own personality and stuff like that, guys. But you know, for the most part, Adonis plecos, they are just really territorial. I wouldn't say they'll go off and kill a fish for you know just no good reason or anything like that. And of course, Odin over here gets along with everybody. Uh, but with that said, guys. Make sure you go and check out Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook. Make sure you show your support over there. Hit those like buttons. I have all those links inside the description. Make sure you go and check out New Algae. Uh, get that stuff bumping inside of your tank. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Uh, I really enjoy making these videos, guys. And we're getting up there in the subscribers again. I'm going to hold another giveaway and uh, give back to the community. Like I said, I just got my P.O. box, so make sure you check that out. Send me something if you want to, whatever it may be, a picture, uh, you know, candy, a letter. I don't care what it is, guys. Just a, another way for us to communicate. I'm really excited about that. Uh, let's see. Again, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button with a baseball bat. And we'll see y'all next time. This is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. Happy fish keeping. And stay true to the hobby. Peace out.